Hi everybody, today I wanted to go over how to calculate cost of goods sold in QuickBooks. In QuickBooks uses the average cost method for cost of goods sold. Um, so let me show you guys how this works. On the left side I have a blank company file which I don't have any transactions in and I just created um, an item, an inventory item. Just uh, it's called item number one. It's just a generic item that I created, and the first step uh, in our example is we actually purchase this item from our supplier, and let's assume that we purchased it on July thirty first, and we bought ten of them or $100 each totaling $1,000 and let me put this in Excel uh, cost per item and then total cost and so we bought 10 for $100 each and the total cost is this times this. Okay. So now let's save this and let's take a look at the balance sheet. Okay, we have one thousand dollars in our inventory account, which is what we 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 bought the inventory for. Now let's make another purchase and this time we're gonna buy the same item and we're gonna buy 10 again but this time we're gonna buy it for two hundred dollars because the supplier raised the price on us so that's a total in, uh, bill for two thousand dollars let's put it this in Excel this time we bought it for two hundred dollars and so the total cost was two thousand dollars and let me just do a quick uh, calculation we're gonna sum up each column okay there it goes So right now we have a total of 20 items at a total cost of $3,000. Now if we, if we do a quick calculation here, we'll do the $3,000 divided by the 20 items, we get a total cost per item of $150. And that's that's how you calculate the, the average cost, and that's how QuickBooks calculates uh, the average cost for a cost of goods sold whenever you sell an item. Um, let me just go through with the whole example so you guys have a better idea of how this looks. Uh, let's assume that right now we sold we sold this item to our customer. Let's assume that we sold <clears throat> 10 of them. And we sold them for $300 each. Not 3300 Okay, that looks better. So the total amount of the invoice where we're invoicing our customers $3,000. We hit save and close. And let, let's just uh, demonstrate how this is going to look. So we sold 10 items. And if we multiply our cost of $150 by the items that we sold, we'll see that our total cost of goods sold for that transaction is going to be $1,500.
So if you take a look at the profit and loss statement, you'll see that we have merchandise sales for $3,000, which is the 10 items at $300 a piece. And then we have cost of goods sold of $1,500, giving us a gross profit of $1,500. Okay, and that's it. It's as simple as that. That's how you use, um, that's how QuickBooks calculates cost of goods sold. Uh, that's the average cost method of uh, inventory evaluation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. My number is 954-358-9487. I hope you have a nice day. And uh, if you have any questions also, you could put them down below in the comments, and I'll be happy to get to them. Thank you.